Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can use Power Automate to fetch or extract the files from a shared location on your shared drive or on your local and put those files into SharePoint or OneDrive. So it's a pretty general requirement where uh, our legacy system must be putting or out, uh, storing the files on any shared drive, K drive, Z drive, F drive. So, but uh, we need to access those drive and have those uh, files to be placed in SharePoint so that the further processing can take place. So this is, for this, uh, we are going to see how we can do that. So I have just uh, opened my, this uh, uh, flow environment. I'm on my flows. So I'll be creating one automated cloud flow and I'll just skip the trigger for now. And as I said, I'll be uh, looking the files from a shared drive. So I'll use uh, get file from my file system. So this is the connector or the action we are going to use. So when you see uh, what are different triggers are available for this, we have when a file is added or modified and when a file is created and properties. So we are going to use this when a file is created trigger. So you must be seeing that uh, we got this folder, select a folder, but how to select a folder? If you click on this icon, it will not give you anything. And why it's not giving? Because we have to actually configure one connection so that we can pick the files from that connection only for, for that uh, connector, which will serve between your local uh, file and folders and into this uh, SharePoint. So you need to add this new connection because I am already I have already created these two connections for my this uh, file folder access. But uh, for this demo purpose, I'll just click on this add new connection. So now you can see it requires few details for connect uh, creating this connection. So you can simply say that uh, shared folder connector and root path you can uh, give your root path if you're having uh, your file stored in a shared shared drive then you can simply type in the machine name and the drive and if you want to have this uh, file looked up from your local then you can simply have that local thing a local drive address in place for example i'm just choosing this and this is my local address from where i'll be picking up my file for this demo the authentication type would be windows and over here we have to pass on the domain slash username. So what uh, could be, I mean, like if you're working with for your company, then it would be domain of your company in the forest, uh, in the AD forest, which you live in and the username and your windows credential. And the last option is gateway. So you have to pick this gateway, which all are already configured. So why we need gateway? Because these files are being stored in your local uh, environment and what i mean by that like it's uh, your local data center and this uh, connector because this flow is uh, giving us a way to connect to the entire world using cloud uh, uh, capabilities so we have to make a connection between your cloud your public environment to your local internet environment so for that these connectors are being used so you can simply click on new on premise gateway so that would actually give you capability to configure your new on-premise gateway. But I'll use this existing one. So it's uh, very simple to configure the gateway. So it's uh, actually, I will just put down this link for your reference. So what is an on-premise gateway? On-premise gateway act as a bridge to quick and secure data transfer between on-premise data and several Microsoft cloud services. So we are going to use, because this flow is a MS cloud service, so we are going to use uh, this uh, Power Automate and local drive and this on-premise gateway would serve as a bridge in between. So you need to just uh, do these four steps. You need to download this uh, gateway. You need to click on this install. So it's a sim fairly simple process, double click it. In configuration, you have to provide your uh, user credentials so that it can be configured and uh, you have to add the gateway admins so you may want to add yourself and your colleagues so you can do that so it's a fairly simple process if you are not having uh, rights to install it then you probably can request your admins to do that on your behalf 
So once that is done, you can give a name to your on-premise gateway and the same gateway because my gateway is SP gateway one. So I'm using this gateway for my connection. So I'm just providing my domain slash username and credential. So when I click on this create, it will create this connection and connection name you can see by this shared folder connector. So now you see it automatically added that slash and if you go to your this my connection you can see this is the new connection we just created for this connector. So in the next step I have to read the file content so that I can place this file into my SharePoint. So I would be just again get file content. I'll just type on that action and that is in, in the file system. So it will give me all the actions which I can use with my file system. You can create a file, you can append a file, copy, delete and several others. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just read the get file content. And over here I have to specify the file location so these are the existing location for this file but I am not going to specify this because from my previous step I would going to use my this file identifier so now this previous step the file which was created earlier would be used to read out the content if you if I click on this advanced info content type so you can just simply say yes for this and the next step because I want to this file to be moved to SharePoint so I'll just use create file action and I'll specify the site address for example this one and folder I would like to move this file to the document library directly and name of the file so you can simply pick that from the file created property file content it can be fixed from the file content property. So now we are done. We have read this file. If you open it, if you if you have like lot many files, so you can just uh, do a number of files return. You can change that as well. So I'm just save, giving it a name. File transfer to SP, and when I save it, and I it's already there so now i will be just creating one file under my that share folder i'm just creating one text file it's a let's say test one and i can just enter any garbage content there saving it so now this action should trigger my flow so we have to wait for a couple of minutes as this flow is being run with the per user license so it takes a while it's not the immediate ping so our flow ran successfully if I just click on it it will show me all the detailed steps that what is had it had uh, executed and we got uh, our final step executed if I go to my this uh, shared library so this was the file which we created which we put up in our shared file and it was picked up from this uh, file connector which we created via on-premise gateway and then we got the file content and we stored that file to SharePoint. So for more complex processing you may want to like uh, get the content or basically with the file name uh, you may want to like do some processing for example file name is having some current date or some profile name or some something like that which uh, we would you like to look up in the SharePoint and extract the further details so you can do more complex work over there but it's a basic thought of like how to have that connection in place how you can pick the files from shared location and have that in SharePoint so I think like uh, you got the point and if you find it useful please do subscribe and drop your comments in the comment box thank you